Thank you, Rob. Hey up peeps, I am Mubit and here is another vloggy type situation. What a weird week or so it's been. Crikey. Now, um, I'm just going to get comfortable here because I've got my phone on a gimbal. There we go. As you can probably tell, I'm in the car um, doing my social distancing thing. Uh, we've finally ran out of supplies because we don't panic buy like like the rest the rest of some of these other assholes so we're in a tesco car park as we can see right here make sure i don't get anyone in a lot quieter now this is friday as i'm recording this we have been in isolation now for 11 days uh the first sort of four of those obviously were voluntary and then the government stepped in rightly so and it's been a weird one. I've actually mostly been playing Minecraft because I ha we had a lot of filming projects sort of on the go, ready for me to shoot sort of the, you know, the, the background plates and that kind of stuff. And obviously, because we can't leave the house, is what it is. But yeah, we've, um, we've just been treating everything as normal, except for, you know, not leaving the house. Um, so we'd not panic bought or anything like that, anything stupid. Um, we've just had what we had in. We had our big shop delivery as normal. And, you know, we're finally starting to run low on, on a few bits. So uh, we've finally come round. Now, I came out, because you're allowed half an hour out of the house. So I came out uh, past this Tesco um, at the beginning of the week. And it was mother loving rams. They were doing their social distancing thing, like one or two people in, one or as, as two people come out kind of a thing. They were coming right the way around. So the Tesco shop is over there. And they were queuing right around the back of the car park, around this there, and then back around here. And now it's just coming out of the shop here. And it's just kind of actually pretty much in line with my car. I am one, two, three, four, five, five. about 10 spaces up from the front door. So, you know, so people have been a lot more sensible now, I think. Plus, obviously, the panic buyers have been and gone and been idiots. And now it's just people, I think, genuinely just getting stuff that they need. As you can see, there's a few people walking past because obviously I'm, I'm parked with the back of the car to the main path that comes to the car park. That's why you get so many people walking past. But everyone's keeping their distances. I'm just looking around now. There's a few cars here, but not too many. It's, it's, it's starting to work. There's always going to be some dickheads out there. Um, like Derbyshire police have been sending drones up and um, filming hundreds of people walking through the Peak District the other day, which is just stupid. I, I volunteered my drone services to help them catch these people maybe or do some search and rescue if someone hurts themselves or something like that. But uh, they've got a massive team, they've just told me. So, but they said thank you and we'll put you on the list, blah, blah, blah. So, okay, fine. I just want to help my community, you know? I guess they're, they're probably thinking as well that rather than get civvies involved, that's another few people out of the house, you know. I get it. It is what it is. So my wife has, has actually gone into the shop. She's been queuing to get in. She, she got in quite quickly, actually, after about five minutes. Um, and obviously I'm staying in the car, doing the whole sealed social distance thing and just helping her, you know, load the stuff into the um, boot and I thought while I'm here I do some stills of myself like in the empty car park just kind of over there where there's no people um, because I'm having a go at storyboarding now you know me you all know me I tend to just go for it I just blag it and, and it always ends up looking okay but you know Especially after working with my uh, filmmaker professional friends now um, a, a few times, you start to realise sometimes you need a storyboard. And, and seeing as we can't film on normal projects, I thought I would have a go at like a micro short. I'll have to star in it and I'll have to film all the footage myself on my own using gear that I've already got because I can't buy any gear or rent any gear because everywhere's closed. And then my friend Heinz, who is says he's incredibly bored, he's a professional film grader in, in movies. And um, I said, well, I'm about to make a little micro short. Would you like to colour grade it maybe, you know, and I'll edit something for you or whatever. Um, so he's agreed. So thanks, mate. That's awesome. So yeah, I've been getting some stills together and I think... 
I was going to film myself getting those stills, but obviously with keeping an eye on the camera and what I'm talking about with you guys and then obviously distancing myself from people, I think I'll just cut to the studio in a minute and show you what I've come up with. Heinz doesn't know this because he thinks I'm going to film on my DSLR, which I probably would do. What I was going to do is do DSLR for most shots and then do... This is the Sami S10. It's on selfie mode at the moment, which is why it's not as great quality. But And I've got the Sami S10 on the Zewin... Uh, I think it's called the Zewin Go. I can't remember what this one is. It's a brand new... It's a brand new one anyway. It's tiny. But I've got some shots that... Obviously, I'd normally need a DP with me or an, a, or, a, or an AC or something like that, but I think maybe I can get them with this, with this combo. I guess the only question is, is whether Heinz can actually colour grade it, because obviously mobile phone footage is, is a small sensor compared to the DSLR, and you know. So I think I want to do is get some test shots, send them to my mate, a mobile phone version and a DSLR version, and then see what he says. So yeah, it's probably best that uh, we get on with it, shall we? Okay, so we're back in the studio. Um, I'm using, now, because I don't not really much of a writer, because um, I'm a cinematographer, I'm a filmmaker, you know, I, I hold cameras. I'm a camera monkey, is what I am. Um, I'm using a free bit of software. Um, I'm no artist either, but this thing's pretty good. Uh, Makestoryboard.com, if you're on there. Um, it's a bit slow, but I think that might be because of the COVID thing. As you can see, you get a free account you can have up to 10 scenes in one storyboard so the way i'm getting around that is to just have the opening sequences is like six scenes so i'll do that and i'll make a new storyboard for for the other stuff this gives you an idea it's uh the sort of beginnings of things so i'll make a fake one here what you can do is you can um upload photos and things um as you can see here, I've got, got various photos and things like a collage or, you know, you can draw it freehand. So if I was to make a new one here and put a draw, you get a little drawing page and you've got text, uh, background colour, you know, you can make it, I don't know, purple um, and the thingy colour. And then you can just kind of draw, if you're a drawer, you can, you know, draw your stick man and whatever and, uh, and do it that way. Uh, I'm going to cancel that though. Now what I've been doing is I'm just using uh, Photoshop and Lightroom and things just to make these here and because you can upload photos look. So if I go on here and put upload image, um, it'll bring up storyboard assets and that I, these these are images I've already made but the, the reason I've uploaded them to this rather than just doing a PDF of this is because you get the, uh, the notes underneath. So. And I want to use, uh, I can't monetize this because I want to use the 28 Days Later music, which I think is one of my favorite scenes by one of my favorite directors of all time. Um, and I want to do a bit about the various news reports uh, that are going on with COVID and, and causing panic and all that kind of stuff. So that's what the story is. But um, I do want to use the 28 Days Later music just just as a homage, really, because I'm such a fan of that that film, the cinematography, the the colours, the the direction, everything. I think it's brilliant. Um, and I'm not into sort of zombie films and things, but I think the beauty of that that film, of course, if you've seen it, is sometimes the humans are worse than the actual monsters. You know, humans are the real monsters. Ooh, that hasn't been done before. But I mean, we're seeing it, aren't we? Let's face it. Um, with everything that's going on, most people are being nice and being community minded. And we're seeing the very best, but also the very worst of society right now. Uh, you know, you've got people volunteering and helping out their WPs and that kind of stuff, but you've also got people hoarding toilet rolls for some reason. Bizarre about. So, yeah, it's, it's basically going to be a bit, little mini documentary type situation about that. But this is the opening sequence, so you can see. And this is the music, so five seconds into the music, the text fades in, Movement Media presents, you know, and then like the various, um, see if I can bring that, make, can I make that bigger to show you? But yeah, you got on the second one there, you've got, you know, various clips of, of newsreels and stuff like that. Another reason I can't monetize it, because obviously I want to use little news clips and things and they belong to the people, you know, but you can use it for the purposes of, um, if it's only like one or two seconds worth, you know, you can use it for the purposes of, you know, documenting and things like that. And the idea with this sequence is I want to have it all chaos and then it goes quiet and then the the short little 
sort of made up scene that I'm, I'm writing um, starring me and filmed by me and somehow camera movements by me while I'm acting. That'll be fun. Uh, but yeah, I want it to help sort of go more and more chaos and build up and build up and build up and build up and then just go and just go blank and black and then it, it opens with me asleep in bed, you know, and my eyes open, you know, and the, the it's been done, but sort of blur, you know, it's all blurred and kind of when it focuses in on me and then uh, I wake up and get out of bed and then the st shenanigans happen. So that's what I'm going here, various layers here and then Team Reflector appears in the top corner there, uh, you know, and then more and more and more and more clips, and more and more and more clips and it says starring, starring Moobit, you know, and then it cuts to black. Uh, Contract Days mu later music ends. Moobit, the character, I'm just going to call him Moobit. Moobit, the character, can be heard breathing, stirring from sleep, fade into shot one. Um, and that's all you do. Um, I am by no means any expert on um, storyboarding. I just took, I just rock up on set, look at the image and go, yeah, I can do that, and then just do it. <laughs> so this is a new challenge for me, but hey, I think if you're stuck inside like everyone else, you should try and teach yourself a new skill. So I'm having a go, you know, I'm having a go. There's another new free piece of software, which is a downloadable uh, bit of software, which is a bit more powerful, but uh, kind of beyond my knowledge because I don't really draw. But this is called Storyboarder. Um, again, free to download. Um, and you can pay for various premium options if you want to, but here you can just literally, you know, draw. So you can have like, you know, your, your, um, this has obviously got watercolors on from before, but you can have your man there, you know, and the camera's there, you know. So you can draw it like that and have that as your storyboard like it on the other one. Or you've got this shot generator here, which is pretty cool. I still haven't figured it all out, but you can put the camera in 3D space. You can, there you go. So that. So that's your camera angle. Look, so I'm literally moving the camera on, on its tripod now. So let's say there, and then I think it's up here and you can add and then have an adult male or you've got presets down here, default character, blah, blah, blah. And then you can actually in 3D space, like move it. Whoa. So there you go. So you can move it around, move the camera around physically. You can move the body around, so like whoop, bump, 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 bump. You get the idea. Um, keep the leg out. Oh yeah, yeah. Let's do it. Let's do a hadouken. But yeah, no. Let's do a let's do a spinning kick. There you go. So he's 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 you know, <laughs> you get the idea. But he's doing the spinning kick. Like, come on then, let's have you. Oh yeah. <laughs> You get the idea. But you can do that, and you can move things around in three D space. You can have the head. You can have like add other characters like a team female but there's also we can also add like um you can add objects you can add where are we a light a light source um which will light the 3d model you can add uh da -da -da, where is it you can add an image and put that there so if you've got a background that you know you're going to be filming out you got a photo of it you can put it in but somewhere there's a thing where you can search once you've got your model in, so let's add, add, add an adult male in, for example, you can do poses and things down here. So you can search for a pose. So let's say uh, sleep. So laying down on back, laying down on side. Here we go, which is my first shot. So we've got that here and you can position the hands around if you want. And you know, you get the idea, but you can just search here for the, for the you search models, you can search for things, you can search for a pose, you can select different hands like open, you can select um, guns and things like that. So there's, there's like, it's really powerful. Um, probably a bit too over the top for me, but I mean, those of you who want to visualize the film before you even get your cameras out i think this this is a pretty good one the specs you need to run it aren't even that bad so you got lane watch here look so you can there and you can physically drag the camera around you know stick it like there maybe you know you get but you get the idea but let's not look at the back of his arse shall we but I think that is a very good one. I, I think it's on Mac and on Windows, but I'll put the links uh, in the description down there.
But there's two, there's a web-based one and the downloadable one. And hopefully that's, you know, it, it's a bit of a crash course and a bit of a real top level sort of idea of what goes into storyboarding for, for, for my experience at least. Admittedly that experience is lower because I'm, I'm more of a camera monkey and a drone fly than anything, but hopefully that gives you some ideas. But I guess the one take home you should um, have on these things is 90% of filmmaking is in planning. So if you know if you've done your research, like you've seen my vlogs where I've done the uh, location scouting of things, I do quite detailed reports to the director and producers and things. If you've got that in and then you storyboard effectively and you've got a shot list written down, which is what I do, I do a shot list, you know, just a scrap of paper in my back pocket. It don't really matter. I actually have a couple of books, but uh, sometimes it's a scrap of paper because that's all you've got on you at the time, you know, because somebody's nicked off for your book. But the point is, if you plan, it doesn't have to be to the nth degree, but if you plan enough, at least you, you know stuff that's going to come up is stuff that sometimes you've already planned for, sometimes not. Things go wrong. But having a plan and having a backup and having an idea how things go, if you suddenly can't do a shot because of the weather or something, you know what your next shot is so you can go and do that instead if, you, if that's indoors, for example. So if you've got it all planned, it will go a lot smooth, more smoothly, trust me. Devil's in the detail, as they say. But yeah, hopefully that's given you a little sort of top level idea. If you want me to do more of these things, let me know. Because um, I've got nothing but time, because we're all stuck inside, aren't we? So, yeah. Until next time, though, I've been Move It. You've been awesome. And I'll see you in the next video. ta -ra. Wash your hands, wash your hands, wash your hands. Wash your hands, wash your hands, wash your hands. Wash your hands, wash your hands, wash your hands. Wash your f***ing hands! I like to move it, move it, bit, bit, bit.